Renault Duster, and this story cannot be done without it, long ago earned the image of an indestructible, ultra-reliable, economically feasible and comprehensively adequate car. And taking into account the wide and varied offer, since the car has been produced for a hundred years already, everyone can choose an option based on their own needs and capabilities. With Renault Captor, an engineering copy, blood and duster's twin in terms of the lion's share of pieces of iron, things are a little different. The car saw the light only in 2016, managed to drive a little less than 100 and had not yet managed to earn its own name. The short story also creates another drawback, only the buyer whose budget exceeds 750,000 rubles can afford a used crossover. It's not easy to buy it from the hands. Most captors go looking for a second chance in trade-in. The 21st century is in the yard, the era of car markets is closing its doors. In Moscow, they offer about 100 used crossovers of various colors and trim levels. To find one that will take pride of place in the family garage for several years, you need to approach the purchase from a cynic point of view and carefully follow the instructions. The one that does not lose its relevance throughout the century. And it is unlikely that he will ever lose. Body. Unlike its main competitor, Hyundai Creta, Renault Captor is not subject to red disease. If traces of rust appear on the body, it means that the car has been in an accident, and then was restored in artisanal conditions. A rusty fender and a scratched bumper are a bargain, nothing more, but a deformed or repaired spar is a serious reason to think. The fact is that spare parts for a car are quite expensive, the used LD headlight unit is 20,000 rubles, and such a serious intervention indicates participation in a large accident. Better look for another option. Carefully inspect all seals, due to hard use, for example, in a taxi or car sharing, they wear out and tear. And in the event of an accident, they are most often replaced with non-original ones, or, due to the high price, they try to adapt a similar spare part from the Ziggly. So the door seal can tell a lot about how the car was driven. Scratches and scuffs in the doorways and trunk are by no means a crime for a budget car. But a scratch is different. If the coating is worn to the metal, it is quite possible that the door was removed and then installed without adjusting the hinges. The Russian, French, had openings created with a large margin, no one was chasing millimeter gaps, so crooked doors or trunk lids, loose hinges and extraneous sounds when closing should be suggested. Having heard the word, crossover, which in Russian is often synonymous with the term, SUV, many begin to test the car for professional suitability. They will start small since the Renault Captor goes off-road really well, and, as a rule, will end with the rally raid stage. Appetite comes with eating, so many car owners of such cars, having read on the forums about the exploits of Duster, go with their capture to the Pampas. As a result, paint cracks and other traces of global deformation of the load-bearing body appear. Even the windshield, 12,000 rubles with installation, can burst. It is not worth considering such a car for purchase, it is the body that is the most expensive and difficult to repair part of the car. In such cases, you need to say goodbye and call the next ad. So long. It is customary to blaspheme all people from the DP0 platform for the excessive cheapness of materials, the scarcity of finishes and equipment. At this point, Captor overtakes Duster in terms of design, but not in a new approach to the choice of fabrics and plastics. It is still the same, oak, ugly but at the same time resistant to scratches. The buttons are conveniently located and do not wear off over time. The steering wheel is grippy and also wear resistant. But the materials for finishing the seats could be better. The chairs are not deformed, but require constant attention and cleaning. The conclusion is simple. In order to put the Renault Captor interior in order, there are enough improvised means and a few hours of time. So it will not work to find out the twisted mileage on the worn driver's seat, steering wheel, and pedals. Most captors are sold with an automatic or CVT, so the gear selector knob is no clue either. There is not much electronics here, and there is not much to say about it. It works properly, it does not give reasons to visit the service station. For two years of widespread operation of the crossover, no global troubles in this direction have been identified. The only thing you should know, the rear view camera turns on very slowly. And this is a factory defect, even on a new car. After selecting reverse gear, you have to wait 5 to 7 seconds before the screen lights up with the landscape that extends behind the stern of the car. Engines Renault Captor received all the same engines that the Duster had, with one exception, it is not diesel. Accordingly, the line of power plants consists of two gasoline, eternal, 
and resource units, a 1.6 liter 114 horsepower and a 2.0 liter 143 horsepower engine. Both can be brought to critical destruction only with the help of a press, no one has yet been able to roll out the entire resource, and these units can be serviced and repaired in any wilderness and on any parallel of our immense. Siberians now swear that at temperatures below 45 degrees, oil can be squeezed out through the crankshaft oil seal. Indeed, cars are not what they used to be. Let's start with the 1.6-liter H4M engine. It is considered indestructible, but only a professional should service it. Every 15,000 kilometers, fill an ELF-branded engine oil. The motor, which is well known to specialists in the Duster and the Logan family, became the proud owner of a chain gas distribution mechanism on the captor. The chain is designed to last the life of the engine and should only be replaced if it stretches and rumbles. To the credit of the crossover, such cases have not yet been noticed. Every 120,000 kilometers, a water pump will need to be replaced. A pump and ignition coils, there are four of them in this engine, must always be carried with you. Their service life is incalculable and may end at the most inopportune moment. Fortunately, the unit is not expensive, from 1680 rubles apiece. But the ancient, like Monomachus had, 2-liter 143-horsepower engine will be mastered by craftsmen in any garage cooperative. This engine was learned to disassemble and repair in our latitudes in the last century. After all, F4R, and this is it, is familiar to Russians everywhere thanks to Moskvich 2141 Spyatica. There was exactly the same unit, except perhaps in the pre-styling version with the timing belt drive. Today, the gas distribution mechanism is in charge of the chain. His requirements are simple, ELF oil every 15,000 kilometers. Its only drawback manifested itself on the duster. Off-road suggests that such a low location of the generator and oxygen sensor leads to unforeseen expenses if the lucky owner is fond of Pakatushki. The resource of this motor depends on the quality of its service and is directed to infinity. There is no need to look for cars with a mileage of 500, 000 plus 4 a long time. But a car with incorrectly working and requiring repair is almost impossible to find. There is a small, non-critical, but possible, lag. The first batches of cars had a very weak starter, which often failed. The reason is import substitution, which did not keep pace with the conveyor. If the node was not changed under warranty, then it may fail at the most inopportune moment. Transmission in Russia, capturers are presented with two types of drive, front and full, and with three types of gearboxes. The 1.6-liter engine is equipped with the 5-speed JR5 manual or CVT, and the old F4R is equipped with the same ancient 4-speed automatic, which differs from Logan's Donut and the 6-speed manual gearbox TL8. The 2-liter car will be equipped with 4-wheel drive by default. There are few connoisseurs of the automatic DP2, such as on Captor. Painfully, it is old and slow, which is why it stimulates excessive fuel consumption and slow acceleration. If you monitor the oil level, it will survive not only the car, but also the sanctions against Russia. Reliable, no doubt, but it hurts so slowly he shifts gears. Whether it's a mechanic or a variator, there are many more such cars, and they differ only in one line in the future budget. The manual gearbox will require clutch replacement every 80 to 100,000 kilometers from 30,000 rubles with work. CVTs, on the other hand, have not yet come across wear and tear at all. Among the servicemen, it was not possible to fish out a single story where the continuously variable transmission would act as a villain. Reviews are only positive. As well as about the types of drive, both front and full are reliable and unpretentious. Suspension. The entire B0 family, from the first Logan itself to the captor, are considered, and not without reason, to be owners of indestructible suspensions. The converted duster, which replaced the field jacket with the fashionable jacket, remained unchanged in the chassis area, the front-wheel drive modification is still equipped with a beam at the stern, and the all-wheel drive is proud of the multi-link. The attention of this most reliable design is rarely required, but something can still fail. By 60,000 on the odometer, it is necessary to take into account the replacement of wheel bearings in the budget. One wheel will cost 3,000 rubles, half is a part and the same amount is work. A pair of bones, stabilizer struts, can withstand more than 70,000 kilometers and will only need to be replaced at 80,000 to 90,000 kilometers. The operation will cost 5,200 rubles for everything. Silent blocks did not have time to wear out in two years, 
so it's too early to talk about repairs. But, drawing certain parallels with Duster, we can safely say, Captor moves off the asphalt much less often, so you won't have to think about the most expensive intervention in the suspension structure before 100.